Okay, in this video, I want to go over the device tab. So if you push on the device tab down at the bottom, we can go into getting it set up with a calibration. So typically, if you get this from Central City Scale, we'll have it calibrated already, so you don't have to worry about it. But if you do, here's how you could go about setting it up. So the sensitivity, if you leave that, at 0.4 or set it to 0.4 if you have an existing indicator you can go in find out what its cal number is and then you can put that in for the rated capacity hit save always leave that calibration factor at one hit save and then it will save that calibration uh, another secret if you don't really know where you're at you can always use so we'll back out of this you can always use our app the Central City Scale app. And primarily what this does is it, is it has a list of different calibrations. Increase that size. So if you go to calibration, you can scroll until you see the Libra TMR. And so if I have a four bar Digistar system, let's say that's what my bars are. I can see that if I use 0.4 and then 16,000 for my rated capacity, that'll take care of the calibration. Or if I have compression, or if I have a Waitronics. Waitronics is symbolized with W-T. And if I have a four bar Waitronics, that should say two and an eighth in there. And that's the typical setup would be 1488. So you can plug these numbers in or certainly give us a call and then we can help you out with that process. Um, this is kind of a nice guideline to look at. So let's say if I have the four two and an eighth bars on there, I'd put in that 14, 880. And quite simply, if you go to purchase this, you can tell us ahead of time what you have for bars. A lot of time there's information on there as far as a a part number or b the calibration it'll say on there it'll say whether it's uh two and an eighth uh two and a half so basically just whatever information you have on there you can take a picture of it send it to us uh, and then we can get everything taken care of that way if you don't have any sort of reference and you're just starting out one of the things that you can do is you can put in that 0.4 sensitivity. Start out at a baseline. Start out at a number. Start out at maybe that 14,880. Start out at 16,000. Just, just somewhere in there or even 15,000 if you don't really know what you have for bars. And then you can put a known weight on the mixer and calibrate to that. So if you put in, let's say if I have a known weight of 1,000, and that's my true indication. And say like the mixer's a little bit off. Let's say it's at uh, 975 pounds. You can push the calculate key. And then it will change the calibration factor. And then always remember to save it. So you can use that method if you want. I'll cancel out of this. And... That would actually be another easy way to calibrate just having a known weight on there. And the known weight, easy, easy formula to remember, is always taking the actual weight, which is a certified reading, so it's the true weight, divided by what the mixer is saying, so what the scale says. Take the actual, divided by the incorrect weight, and multiply that times your rated capacity so that 14880 that we have up there and it will do that exact same thing or you can fill these numbers in here with the certified reading the true reading or the incorrect reading for and shouldn't be an or and the mixer reading push calculate save and then you're good to go so calibration is rather straightforward and simple if you have questions on it we can help you with that process but it's usually something that takes about 30 seconds to, to get um, ironed out. Pretty simple. And then um, as far as another thing to cover, besides the calibration, 
let's take a look at our smoothing levels. Our smoothing levels are going to affect how fast the weight display updates. So let's see if I can get a good example here. And then if I increase that, you can see how slow that is. So here it is on the highest level. The slow it so it's it's like having a a pretty good break on there. And then if I take it all the way down to one, you can see the difference. It just basically goes from zero to the weight really fast. So that is that is one of the primary reasons to have this set up. And usually you can start out at about a three and then and then build up from there. Restore device, update firmware, or send diagnostics, you'll probably not use the majority of the time. Send diagnostics will be something that uh, would be if you if you saw something that just was out of the norm. You can email that information out, just attach your name so that way it's referenced when it is uh, analyzed. And basically this will cover most of everything in the device settings. Uh, fairly straightforward and simple. In the next video we'll pick up from here and, and discuss a few other uh, loose ends and, and kind of finish out with the video series.